Hello everyone. So today we have with us uh, Arathya Garg, who just recently won his final IM Norm, and he is now playing at the 19th International Grandmaster Open here in Delhi. And the round eight just ended, and with a fantastic performance by Arathya. Arathya, tell us about it. Yeah, today I was facing Adam Fozzi of Egypt. He recently finished second in the Guwahati International Tournament. I knew it would be a tough round, so uh, I prepared quite a lot yesterday evening and today morning. And uh, he played a line which I had expected. Uh, in the opening itself, he played queen into e5, which surprised me very much because the main line was knight cross e5 as far as I knew. And after queen cross e5, I was on my own completely. So I played knight c6, and here he had an option to play queen into g7, long castle. But I think there I will have good initiative. So instead of playing that, uh, he played queen e4. I played f5, queen c4, g5. He played d4, queen e6 check, queen e2. Uh, I think instead of uh, after d4, queen e6 check, he could have played something else uh, like uh, uh, sorry, he played queen e6 check, knight e5, knight e5. And now I think he could have played queen e2. Instead of that, he played d into e5, queen e5 check, queen e2. And uh, after queen e2, king e2, long castle, I got the initiative and the pawns were equal and I had some extra space on the king's side. So I continued playing on aggressively and uh, trying to take, make use of my initiative and his king was uncastled. He artificially castled with rook e1 and king f1 but I played h5, h4, provoked some weaknesses in his position and tried to play energetically. Uh, in the end, uh, he kind of crumbled because the pressure was uh, insurmountable and uh, I won. That's brilliant. Uh, I mean, Fozzie performed brilliantly at the Guwahati International uh, Chess Tournament and uh, here also he was looking pretty strong. So you are finishing fourth there and now you are already six out of eight. So what are you hoping to end the tournament with? Yeah, I wish to do well in the last two rounds. I am very focused on playing one game at a time and uh, my focus for tomorrow's game would be to do well in that round itself and the calculations whether this will happen, if results will favour me or not. I will try to leave it and uh, try to be solely focused on the round itself. Okay, and uh, coming to this round, what was your preparation, if you can tell us a little bit? Yeah, I had expected this knight g5, d5, e d5, na5, bb5 check line from Fozzi itself because uh, he had actually played the Gaiko piano in the uh, in the Guwahati tournament in the second round and he had a good victory with it. So I expected that only and I had prepared till... Uh, I had actually prepared till queen. I had prepared knight, knight cross e5 instead of queen cross e5. So queen cross e5 came as a total shock, and I was completely on my own. Uh, it's a bit surprising because it was the, it was the tenth or eleventh move, but uh, actually I think the engine doesn't suggest queen e5. So maybe it was a bit of. Uh, I mean, maybe I could have checked it a bit more deeply. So, uh, but after queen e5, I think I uh, I played uh, fine, and I was able to gain the initiative. And the good thing was, first I had counterplay for the sacrifice pawn, but then I quickly got the pawn back, and that was initiative for me now because I was earlier pawn down, so they you can say it was counterplay as I have activity, but now I'm, I just have clear activity and initiative for no sacrifice pawn. I really wish that you end the tournament on a high note, okay. and we wish you all the very best. Thank you. Yes.